color is usually not like totally accurate. I, I mean, the goal is to get it as, as close as possible. Yeah. But it's always like a little off, and especially with the landscape where everything has to relate. You know, each each shape of color has to relate to one another mm. correctly. Um, you know, I'll go back up to the top and then just start from like from one shape to the next, um, trying to get the, the relationships as accurate as possible. Yeah. Lighten up. No, I, I would go. I would okay. keep that the way it is and just make this a little closer to that. I was always into drawing and painting when I was a kid, and my dad's an artist too. And so, you know, having he had a studio in the house, so uh, it just seemed seemed like a normal thing that I thought everybody did. Everybody drew and painted. Um, but pr probably when I was like in my late teens is when I started to get more serious into it. It was more than just a fun thing. You know, I started to, to study um, like the 19th century French painters um, and the French naturalists. And I discovered an artist, John Singer Sargent, who's another one of my favorites. Finding out that Jeremy was going to do this is just a dream come true, really. I just followed his work for a long time and also to have it in Yorkshire where I'm based was just too good an opportunity to miss. Yeah, I think just yeah. with, a, with a clean brush just don't get any white in it just just black and mineral spirits yeah. and just kind of what you did here but just just make the whole thing a little darker. Methodical and slow his approach is rather than charging ahead and trying to organize it once it's already on the canvas like you just saw him just being very systematic yeah. and very calm in his approach. Yeah, so I've, I've flown from Dubai for, for this workshop with Rosemary & Co and Jeremy Lipking. I've been using Rosemary for about a year or so now. Um, I switched from, from a couple of other brands and yeah, haven't gone back since. They have transformed my life, the rosemary brushes, because they're perfect. And uh, I use a mixture of the, um, the ivories and the, and the mongoose, um, and I love the rounds as well. They just hold their shape for much longer than other brushes, and they are very easy to clean, and um, yeah, they just do their job, they do what they're supposed to do. I use rosemary curl brushes because in the past I've used lesser known brands or cheaper brands and found that the quality's just not been there. And then when I discovered Rosemary's brushes, there was just no going back. There's nothing to compare. Rosemary Co. Uh, do a great range of, of ivories, um, synthetics. And then I use their Master's Choice as well. Uh, they're, they're my uh, two main brushes that I use with them. I mean, the Master's Choice is just great for, for loading paint, doing washes, and also for the, the final layers. She ships everywhere, so you, you know that people are appreciating them anywhere. I think they're a fantastic brand and um, wouldn't use anything else. Yeah, no, I'd definitely like to come back. Um, we haven't, haven't planned it yet, but uh, you know, maybe, maybe next year or the year after. <laughs>